Hello again to all the subscribers and viewers of our channel. Today we're bringing you an absolutely amazing custom build using a highly desirable original 69 Plymouth Roadrunner hardtop with a late model Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye donating most of its parts and systems to create a car that has classic good looks with a much more reliable and responsive drivetrain and chassis under its skin. The car's owner and builder, Mel Dynas, has done an undetectable melding of old and new to create a car you won't see at any other car show or cruise in anywhere in the country. Mel's built another car before this one, so he's learned a lot. This is build number two, and he's pretty far along on build number three, which was still on the rotisserie when we visited. Mel uses this car to show exactly how he achieves these builds. Now, let's go for a ride. All right, so this is brought to us by a company called Cool Gadget, and this is their X-Cool small wireless handheld car vacuum cleaner. So as you can see, it comes in a heavy-duty carrying case. It's a hard shell, so it'll protect it. And we have the unit itself, which will open up here. Wow, this is very, very lightweight. It's a lot lighter than every other handheld I've ever own. So this is the unit right here and it fits both in your right hand and because I'm left-handed a lot of times right-handed gadgets don't fit in my hand but this one fits very comfortably into my hand and you can see it's very lightweight and we'll show you a comparison between weighing this and weighing an average cell phone. Now let's see what other kind of gadgets we have in here. These are all attachments. I'll open them here for you to see. Whoops. Anyway, see how heavy duty they are? You can throw them around, which I don't recommend you do, but if you did drop them, nothing's going to break. It's a hard plastic. And everything is very small and very, very compact and lightweight. So you have a couple of different brushes here for getting into crevices, like even on your computer keyboard. And then you have other attachments, and you can do combinations of attachments on the end of this. But anyway, this unit has four layers of filtration and it has a powerful suction motor that lasts up to 26 minutes per charge. Now you can use that 26 minutes anywhere up to 90 days before it loses a charge. Now the thing I like about it is we're all car people so we like to have our cars clean whether it's our show cars or our daily drivers. This is great for just small little touch-ups say you went to the park with your dog for an outing and you came back and there's a little bit of dog hair and some grass in the car. Well, this thing will clean it right up. It also has a recharging cable. This could be stashed anywhere that a car guy would think to put it. You could put it in your console. You can put it in your glove box. You can put it under your seat. And you can also put it in your cleaning box that we all have when we take our cars to shows. Where we have glass cleaner and spray wax and all those kinds of things. This would just fit in very, very easily with all your things. So we'll link you to their website that Cool Gadget has and it shows you all that you need to know on how to use this absolutely amazing little vacuum cleaner. So we're very, very happy to be working with Cool Gadget for 2024 and they will be sponsoring many of our videos. So with that, we'll link you to their website and then you can see exactly how this vacuum works. You'll love it. It's great. And now, on to our video. Oh, that's so cool. If only you could smell that. <laughs> My name is Melvin Dinas. 
I built a Hell Runner. It's actually a 2019 Hellcat Red Eye that was totaled with 5,000 miles on it. And the outer body was ruined, but the motor, everything, the undercarriage was perfect. So what I did is cut the body off of the road, uh, the Challenger, all the outer shell right down to the rockers. And I cut the undercarriage out of a, a rolling, rusty 1969 Roadrunner that was no good, that should have almost went to the scrapyard. And I put that outer shell on top of the Challenger. And then, long story short, fabricated everything into it where the engine, tranny, right down to the backup camera, rear view mirror, everything is back inside that Roadrunner. But I call it a Hellrunner now. <laughs> but it is a Hellcat Red Eye. And it, now it has, not what they tell you, 9,777 miles. That's about it. It's the only one I know of that's been built. I haven't seen some. I've seen a lot of them where they put engines in old road runners and then put different suspensions under them, mm -hmm. but nothing to this extent. This is the second one you've built? Yes, I built a SCAD pack first, and I actually really got the uh, originated the idea. I was going to repower my road runner. But the neighbor had a Challenger, so I started measuring everything in the wheelbase. The width of the Challenger is a quarter inch narrower than the width of the Roadrunner right down the rocker. So it was just easier to actually set the shell on top of the Challenger, and that way I've got my suspension, I've got everything. Chrysler had designed it to work. I don't have to worry, did I put the right pieces in the right places? Is it going to run down the road straight? Is things going to work? Because Chrysler designed it. And with low mileage on the car, you know, it's just like brand new car. So it has a new car smell. <laughs> Custom interior, right? No, it's no? the original Challenger interior. I customized that it. interior a little bit. Yeah. Because it was just black on black. And I added the orange hound tooth and the orange stitching to make it look a little more custom, along with the bumpers, shaving the bolt heads off where they're smooth, and mounting a backup camera, and there again trying to get all those modern features on the car and, and dress it up a little bit better than what it was in 69.
Hi. <laughs> Going for a ride in the hill runner. Well, you really sit in here. You do. Yeah. Kind of tight, nice, comfy. That's a really nice throaty sound. So this really would make a great road car. Oh yeah. Great road car. Yeah, somebody pulls up beside you and wants to race. This car is so well done, even people who really know B-body cars from the late 60s can't tell where and how it was created. Knowing Mel builds these cars in his well-equipped one-man shop and does everything except bodywork and paint, it should inspire others to find their dream project car and get to work. By the way, this car is available immediately for a discriminating buyer who desires something a bit more unusual, yet is practical to even drive daily. To find out more about how to acquire this amazing ride, send us an email with the heading Plymouth Roadrunner and we'll forward it to Mel. People will want to know how much money it'll take to put this sweet muscle car in their garage. But let's just say the average enthusiast couldn't build a similar car for much less, even if you did most of the work yourself. He'll also entertain a full or partial trade as long as it's a Mopar muscle car. Also, please consider supporting our channel through Patreon for as little as $5 per month. We'll link it below. Next week, we're bringing you a really cool 1966 Dodge Coronet police car. Owned and restored by a longtime officer from the Pasadena, California Police Department, he now enjoys showing the car and talking to everyone about the kind of vehicle used in law enforcement seven decades ago. You don't want to miss this one. Till then, thanks for watching.